This is where you come to cut loose. This is where you come to have fun. Life outside of here is pressure enough. My favorite part about volleyball was how small the court is, which allows me to connect with my teammates on a closer level, and it's just such a team sport. Three passes, you have to work together. He always comes with a smile on his face, a positive attitude. He brings everybody up around him, and he brings the level of play up around him. I like being the setter because it allows me to be the playmaker of the team, so I get to choose the best strategy so that our team can win. I'll be saying, you know, let's run this, and he'll look at me and go, because he knows more what they're feeling on the court than I do. He's out there as the setter. He has been in control of this court, and I probably don't even have to be here sometimes, you know, he can do it himself. He is a very intelligent young man, and that stands not just on the court, obviously, but off the court. So my parents came here just for a better life. They came from Peru, and my dad didn't get a college degree, and he's been working all his life. Since they were little, because he's the second of five, we tried to set an environment at home of always studying, you know, uh, math in particular. Math was a very, you know, it was always present at home. And I said, your only job is to study. Your only job is to get good grades. You have plenty of time. I looked up to my older brother and my dad and how they were always working on the table. They were just studying. I remember one summer, my brother was studying for his first AP class, AP Biology. And I think I was in sixth grade at the time. So uh, me and my brother said, what are we going to study over the summer? In the beginning, when he was a freshman and he was on robotics, we would sit here and we would work out detailed plays on like using the robotics and the physics of, you know, if this one can get this high off the ground, Coach B, then I'm like, which JQ, you, you know, I'm not good in math, you know. So it was, but to watch him and, and you see his brain actually working, you know, you see it in his eyes, they're moving, they're moving. And then he's just like, do, 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 do. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe he did that. He's a senior, but he's still working and doing homework and still studying, and I'm just like really proud of his accomplishments. The academic culture and learning to work hard and achieve your goals was something that motivated me all through high school. It's all about just being a better human in life, and they all are rising to every occasion that we ask them to rise to. He has been in this gym tutoring some of our players, his teammates throughout the years. I always tell them, like, if you see somebody that needs help, offer your help if you have time. Or make a little time or, you know, set up an appointment or something with them. It's always like being helpful. We say that we're a family and it really does show. I tell them, you know, we're teaching you life lessons, not just volleyball. We went for the seniors. We went to I think sports, there's a lot of perseverance. Especially with volleyball, since it's very fast paced. So we may mess up a point, mess up a set but we forget about the last point and restart and just go out there, put our best effort to help our team. There's really no words to describe how proud we are and how incredible this all seems. You know, he's gonna be going to one of the best universities there is and I think he's just gonna do great. He's very determined to get whatever his goals are and I know he's gonna do great things. As long as he's happy, I am happy.